Hey everyone, I'm currently working on a video that's taking a bit longer than expected. So in the meantime, I thought I'd make this short video and share it with you. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up your Windows workstation for Kubernetes development using WSL and Docker Desktop. This is a great way to get started with Kubernetes development on your Windows machine. And it's perfect for anyone who's new to Kubernetes or just looking for an easier way to get started. So let's dive in. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux, which allows you to run a full-fledged Linux distribution and Linux applications on Windows. To make use of it, first make sure you have WSL enabled in Windows features. You might need to restart your PC after you enable this. To check if you have WSL installed, you can run the WSL-version command in PowerShell, and you should get an output such as this. Then, you need to install a Linux distribution of choice. The easiest way to do this is through the Windows App Store. Just search Linux and you will see a bunch of distributions available. I will install Ubuntu 22.04 since that is what I'm most familiar with. However, you could also install Debian, Kali Linux or other distributions. This is one of the main advantages. You could have multiple distros running and experimenting with them and never leaving your main OS. To finish up the installation, Choose a username and password for Ubuntu. And that's it. You are now running a full Ubuntu distribution inside Windows. If I try to run a Docker command such as Docker PS, it will tell us that Docker is not installed, obviously. That is expected. Now you could just go and install Docker on Ubuntu the regular way. However, there is a better way, as I will demonstrate. If I try to run kubectl, oh, that's unexpected. It automatically installed kubectl, which is a Kubernetes CLI tool. I didn't know it would do that. That's great. Also, if you notice, I have the Windows Terminal application installed, which is by far the best terminal I've ever used. It has great support and integration with WSL, so I highly recommend you install it. Next, I will download and install Docker Desktop, which is the fastest and easiest way to get up and running with Docker and Kubernetes on Windows. And thanks to its WSL integration, it runs on Linux, as it should. The first thing I want to do is to go to Docker Desktop Settings and make sure that it is integrated with the Ubuntu distribution I just installed. As you can see, I have other WSL distributions installed. Once I do that, I want to go to the Kubernetes tab and enable Kubernetes. This will take a while as it will download, install and configure a Kubernetes cluster on your machine. Once that is done, Let's see that everything is working. Let's try a Kubernetes command to get all the namespaces. kubectl get ns and this returns the default namespaces created upon installation. And that's it. You now have a Kubernetes installation up and running, ready for you to experiment and deploy applications on. Check out my video about developing applications locally on Kubernetes to see how to do that. And like I mentioned, I'm working on a video that takes a bunch of research, but one that I'm sure will bring a lot of value. So please subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye.